Welcome to the Dating Kinky Podcast, a cast about love, sex, romance, and kink. Last week, an older writing of mine popped into my feed because someone discovered it on FetLife, and it was a cool experience to read a piece I wrote so long ago. Actually, I wrote it several years after it happened in 2019. I would say it actually occurred in 2014, maybe? Anyway, it was an interesting experience, and rereading it reminded me that I'd like to start sharing more of my earlier writings with you. So, welcome to Thursday Throwbacks, a new feature on the podcast where I'll share a writing I wrote before starting the podcast, or at least one from the past that I've never recorded for you. Starting with this amazing experience. The night I made her come on the living room floor, surrounded by people. Now, I'd planned a scene with a man in the dominant role and his girl, submissive, we'll call her S. I was to be in a dominant role as well, and she had had an interest in me for a while. Long story short, I was somewhat exhausted after a long day and teaching and many, many conversations and questions after teaching during the play party, and it was 1 a.m., and the man we were at a scene with was distracted by a bit of drama and left both his girls, the one I was to play with, and his other, in my care. So I figured I'd distract them. The girl I was originally planning to scene with, S, was sitting on the floor with me. She was petting my legs and talking with the group I was interacting with. I pulled her in so she was sitting between my legs with her back to me. I put one arm around her shoulders to hold her in place, then started playing with her hair, pulling it and rubbing her scalp as I murmured dirty talk in her ear. It wasn't too extreme, just what a pretty little slut she was and how I was looking forward to giving her pleasure. I had her breathing hard and squirming. After about 10 to 15 minutes, though, he wasn't back, so I figured I'd reward her for being such a good girl and started amping it up. I pulled harder on her hair and slipped my hand into her top to play with her breasts, starting lightly, then getting a bit more forceful as I raised my language level to really dirty and put a growl in my voice between bites on her neck. It wasn't long before I had her coming hard and shaking uncontrollably right there on the floor with mm, 15 or more people watching. The next day, we texted a bit. S. Thank you. I so very much enjoyed being with you. That was intense. I lost my composure a bit. That surprised me greatly. I'm still processing my feelings a bit. Me. If you need to talk things through or ask questions, please do. S. I have never, ever had that kind of intense reaction with a dom. Me. I'm special. S. Mm, yes, yes you are. Me. I was teasing. Thank you. S. Oh, I'm not teasing at all. I do not lose my self-control like that. It normally takes time for me to reach that level of comfort. You just bypassed all barriers. Me. Mmm. I'm honored. I felt quite good about it all. Still do. Looking back, that was the official beginning of a long friendship and relationship that has lasted to this day. She is still a big part of my life. It was only one small part of a journey for me into the role the mind plays in sexuality and orgasm. In that search, I've dug into dirty talk, hypnosis, guided meditation, NLP, and more. And it's fascinating how malleable our sexuality can be in the right circumstances with the right audio triggers. What are your thoughts? Have you ever had a similar experience? If yes, how did it make you feel? Were you surprised? If no, is it something you would like to enjoy as a top or as a bottom, perhaps from both sides? Thank you for joining me today. If you loved this episode, please share it with others who would enjoy it. And please do join me on our new apps available in the Google Play and Apple App Stores. Dating Kinky. It's built by Kingsters for Kingsters, Poly, Queer, Trans Folk, and anyone not quite vanilla, and it's free. Find me on FetLife as Nookie Notes, and on Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, and Medium as Dating Kinky. We are on Instagram as Dating Kinky Official, all one word. 
Also, find me on the new Moan app in beta for iPhone. I'm Miss Nookie there. T-H-E-M-O-N-A-P-P dot com. Have a kinky day, and I'll catch you next episode.